hear that sound? I hear that sound. That's the sound of love right there. WNED PBS welcomes you into our kitchen. Let's do a little drizzling. Wow. Yeah. For your favorite local show for foodies. Now we're cooking live. Kick back and relax while local chefs prepare their signature dishes just for you. Get ready because now we're cooking live. Hello, I'm Peter Hall and joining me is Heather Hare. It's our extreme pleasure to welcome you back once again to our local cooking special, Now We're Cooking Live. Joining us today in our studio are two widely respected professional chefs and six amateur cooks. Eh, we'll find out about <laughs> them, all from the Buffalo and Toronto region. An exciting show like this can only happen because of our loyal members who financially sustain this station. And in addition to our members, we have partnerships with some wonderful local sponsors who have also helped put this show together. And we'd like to take a quick moment and thank them. So please, everybody, put your hands together and let's thank Artisan Kitchens and Baths. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Also, <laughs> Wegmans. Thank you, Wegmans. Zenner and Ritter Heating and Cooling. Cabinet Reface Direct. And Buffalo Stream Magazine. Throughout the show, we're going to uh, show you this graphic with a QR code um, and our phone number in it with the station website. And as you know, programs are only as successful as members can make them. So when you see this graphic, scan that QR code with your cell phone camera, call that number, or go to the website to make a financial contribution to Now We're Cooking Live. If you're interested in trying out any of the dishes that we're uh, preparing today, you can go to wned.org slash now we're cooking and you'll find the complete recipes there. And when you do donate, you can pick from our thank you gift selection. You can grab for yourself or as a gift either our now we're cooking live apron, which Heather and I are modeling. That's $6 a month on our sustainer plan or $72 annually if you want to do it all at once. You can also grab one of our bamboo cookbook tablet stands, $10 a month or $120 annually. They're great reminders of the time you supported your PBS station and especially supported cooking shows like this. We are extremely excited to welcome these wonderful professional chefs who are sharing their generous time and skills with us. These chefs are Chef Katrina Gall from 43 Down at the Sheridan Center Toronto Hotel. <laughs> Chef Brian Midas from Bacchus Wine, uh, excuse me, Bar Bacchus Wine Bar and B Side Market in Buffalo, New York. <laughs> and our first guest is Chef Katrina Gall from Toronto, Canada. Let's learn more about her. Katrina Gall is a Toronto native, trained chef and wine professional. She began her hospitality career in 2008 and has been working in many facets of the industry ever since. She began her training at George Brown College in Toronto and continued to Alma in Italy for a postgraduate diploma in Italian cooking. She is the founder of A Glass in Hand, an online resource to help people understand and enjoy food and wine. She has earned three levels of training from WSET and an Italian Wine Scholar Diploma. In her role as restaurant chef at the Sheridan Centre Toronto, Katrina leads the culinary team at 43 Down, the hotel's mixology lounge. Her rotating seasonal menus focus on locally sourced ingredients and flavors inspired by the diversity of Toronto. Welcome to the Now We're Cooking Live kitchen, Katrina Gall. Chef Gall, thank you so much for joining us for this delicious special. I know we've been around here all morning and it's been smelling amazing. Um, what are you making for us right now? So I'm going to make one of the signature dishes that we have at 43 Down. Uh, it's a menu item that 
a lot of people collaborated on and it's a mix of a lot of different ethnicities in the city so that's kind of representative of where we are and it's a nice little snack and something adventurous maybe you can try at home. What do you call it? Oh, it's a, sorry, we're going to make a prawn, a nori, a nori taco with a, a grilled prawn inside. Oh, great. So the shell is not like a corn so tortilla? this is the shell. Uh, I made them earlier. Uh, you can see them here. So uh, we used a piece of nori and uh, fried it in tempura flour. Great. So it comes kind of like a crunchy, hard taco shell, but it has the taste of uh, nori and seaweed. So it's like a mix of, like I said, a lot of things. Like it's not a traditional taco. It's more like a Eastern sort of taco, I guess you could say. I mean, the nori is from Japan. The yeah. tobiko is from Japan. The shrimps, I marinated them kind of in a Mediterranean way. So it's a bit of a mix. And then the papaya and mango salad is like a sop tom salad, which is a Thai salad actually. Okay, so well that sounds incredible. Happening. It sounds very fresh <laughs> and yummy. Yeah. So what do we do to get started? Okay, so I'm actually going to ask you to help me. me if that's oh, okay. yeah, sure. <laughs> so this is the salad that's already made. So I've already cut uh, the papaya and mango. So all you have to do. So this is the papaya. Yeah, all you have to do is just dress it a little bit with okay. uh, olive oil and a little bit of salt. I'll just okay. add it there. And I'm going to start is grilling. Uh, yeah, that's good. I'm going to start grilling the the prawns. So stir it. Yeah. <laughs> So what if we don't have a pan like that? So you can use a you can use a barbecue or just a regular pan is fine too. Uh, just make sure it's something that you don't mind uh, getting a little bit hot because you want to kind of have a little bit of a little bit of a crust on the shrimp. It does give it a little nicer flavor. Just gonna leave it a little second there. Does it need to sizzle? Is that yeah, what you're waiting yeah, yeah. For? Almost, yeah. Almost, we're almost there. We're almost okay. there. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. It's been sitting there warm yeah, for a little okay. while. Um, so, so yeah. what what is this? This is a tom yum paste, which is a kind of a classic paste they use in Thai cooking, and it's a mixture of herbs and spices that are condensed down into a, um, like a, a paste, and it needs to be cooked out before you use it because it's a lot of flavor inside. So there's lemongrass, garlic, ginger, mm. different different herbs and stuff. So it's all packed in a container. So that needs to be cooked out a little bit, maybe for five minutes or so in a pan. I did, I did it already, Sizzle. just uh, to save a bit of time. But um, yeah, you need to cook it out first because it has so many different aromatics. And that's going to be mixed with the mayo to make okay. the, one of the this dressings. Is the mayo. Yeah. What is the wine? This is a tobiko or, or fish roe. Oh, so you okay. find it usually in salmon, but it's, it's just uh, fish eggs. Great. Yeah, so these are... What was the inspiration for this dish? Was it the city of Toronto? And yeah, we uh, we were talking about making a, a sushi burrito, actually. And someone had mentioned we can fry the nori shells and make it into a taco shell. I said, I, I don't know. I've never done that before. But we tried it. And uh, the first time we did it, we actually dipped it in Doritos. And <laughs> they were super crunchy. Yeah. And we said, well, we'll go, what could go inside? Like, well, we could do chicken. We could do pork. And we decided on shrimp. And then we were like, okay, well, why don't we add like a salad or like a salsa? Oh, okay, let's add. And there's a lot of, it's a lot of collaboration like That's in our great. kitchen. So uh, we have maybe have one idea that we start with and then, you know, by the time it's finished, it's something completely different. That's going fast. Yeah. Can you guys smell this? It smells incredible. No, not yet. <laughs> Wait until it gets there. It smells I'm, so good. I'm sending the, the aromatics through the, the camera. <laughs> <laughs> smell o vision, right? Yeah. Yeah, I wish we had smell of vision. No, that, <laughs> funny. that could that could be the next thing that they create, right? Yeah, yeah. Smell of vision. Okay, so this is dressed. That's great. Maybe if you, I don't know, if you want to help me, you can help yeah. me put the. Um, I'm gonna put this on this this plate right here. So you can once you're finished, basically you can just place them on this on this plate, right? Wait, which you're gonna put the salad. Put the salad yeah, in, there. in here. Okay. Yep. How much? Just, just a, a little, little bit, bit, yeah, just a little like bit, because you want to put, you want to leave room, room for yeah, shrimp. the shrimp inside <laughs> and a little bit of dressing too, so just a little bit is good. Got to get a little papaya in there too. So these are a lot of different flavors. Yeah, and they're not really flavors that are seasonal right now per se, but I mean, this was off a menu that was in summertime and it could never get off the menu. No Everybody wanted it all the <laughs> no time. No matter how hard we tried, but yeah. 
I mean, it is nice because it's like a it's like a snack food, so I that's could probably make a, meal a lot of this. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got some sweet and you've got some savory. Yeah. And what did you dress the shrimp with? The shrimp I just did it with garlic, uh, cilantro, uh, some thyme, and olive oil, and a little bit of salt. So just you can use anything for the marinade, whatever you have in the house. Maybe some dry spices too, but you don't want to put a lot on because if you're going to actually make this whole thing, this mayo has a lot of flavor inside of it. Oh, so you're mixing those yeah. together. Yeah. And I'm just going to make a little dressing here. Does that go on here too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It looks, look at how pretty it looks. It's gorgeous. I think I put too much in there. No, you're <laughs> fine. That's okay. I'll just take a fork to this salad later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've mixed that. So that could be the next. This is just going to go on the shrimp afterwards, so... You know, oh, it goes on yeah. top after yeah. you put the shrimp exactly. on. So how many minutes does it take to... These are done. They'll oh, take okay. maybe about five minutes, depending yeah. on the size, but... Um, they turn pink, you know, yeah. they're done. Yeah. Well, is that one done? Yeah, well, this one maybe at the back <laughs> is not done. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't... With shrimp and seafood, sometimes you have to just watch so you don't, you know, cook it too long, because... It gets a little bit rubbery and it's not as flavorful. Yeah, there's but, like uh, a perfect moment, yeah. right? Because it's so Once tender. Once they're orange, they're usually happy. They're ready to go. I love shrimp. Yeah. Shrimp taco is my favorite, but I've never had one with these flavors or this kind of shell. Yeah. It's a, it was a fun idea that we created and uh, we've used it with many times. We've put plant-based uh, product inside of it too, so tofu or... Um, a Beyond Meat inside as well if you're not uh, into seafood. Great. Use that too. So I'm just well, oh, you're chopping it. Just While a little bit. chop yep. it, yep. Um, I would just like to tell people that you can support this program um, by simply scanning the QR code you see here, or you can go to the website at wned.org, or you can call 1-800-727-1017. And when you do, we have a couple of great thank you gifts that we think you'll love. Uh, we have this apron that I'm wearing now for $6 a month as a sustaining member or a lump sum of $72. You can also get this bamboo uh, recipe stand for $10 a month or $120 for uh, a lump sum gift. And we appreciate everyone who calls and donates today. This show wouldn't happen without your support and we thank you so much. And I should say also that we'd like to keep these uh, asks uh, kind of quick and brief and we can only do that if you do provide support today. So again, you can go to wned.org and click that red donate button. These look amazing. So next do we put this yes. on top? How much yeah. do you put on there? Oh, maybe just like a little dollop. A little dollop? Yeah, 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 just a little. Okay, help we only have it. about no, a okay. minute and a half. Okay, we're good to go. Just I think this bit. is perfect. Whoop, he doesn't want to stay up. <laughs> Yep, this is great. So this seems like a great thing you could do outdoors while yep. we're dreaming of being outdoors yeah, so eating again. <laughs> yeah, definitely something that's more, I guess, on the, the warm end of it, what we're eating. But like I said, you could use the shells for anything really, right? Yeah. So these are ready to go. Those oh. are beautiful. So what does the row add to the this? The row adds just like a little bit of salt. That okay. Maybe, and also the, the fact that it's like an egg, it kind of bursts in your mouth. So that flavor of, or that texture that you're missing on top, you could just add it a little bit more. Well, it's gorgeous. I love the color that it gives to the dish as yeah. well. So that is really beautiful. And if you would like to try this dish or any of the ones you see today, you can go to wned.org slash now we're cooking and you'll find all the recipes there. Now we're going to bring Chef Gall's delicious dish over to our panel of tasters. And uh, these tasters are members of our Now We're Cooking Club. Um, so you can take that oh, over, sure. Chef Gall. Yep. Um, some of these uh, people are from our Now We're Cooking Club uh, members or they're part of our okay. Facebook one group. For everybody, um, so and we're so excited for them to be able to try this dish today. Pass it along. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family table. You can you can touch. <laughs> Take a big bite because I want to hear how that crunch and I want to hear how you feel about it. We should say um, the gentleman on the end with the uh, Toronto maple leaves cap. 
We didn't throw him out when he came in <laughs> because he's attached to the chef. <laughs> that is her husband. What do you guys think? Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Next, we're going to meet Chef Midas from Bacchus Wine Bar, who will be working with three amateur cooks to prepare a fantastic dish. But first, let's learn more about him. Brian Midas is a renowned Buffalo, New York chef. Brian's culinary career took him across the country, working in some of the best kitchens in Utah, Vermont, and Colorado. His skills and dedication earned him recognition as one of the most promising chefs of his generation. In 2002, Brian returned home to bring his culinary expertise to the community that shaped him. Currently, Chef Brian owns two successful restaurants. Bacchus Wine Bar is a top-rated fine dining establishment, offering a sophisticated dining experience with an extensive wine list. B-Side Market is a relaxed lunch spot that serves sandwiches and rotisserie chicken. Dedicated to giving back to the community, he works with local farmers to promote sustainable agriculture and supports various charitable organizations. Chef Brian's commitment to his craft, his community, and his values make him an inspiration to aspiring chefs and food lovers alike. Hello. It's time to introduce our first three home cooks from Buffalo, Toronto Public Media. First, we have Sufana Wajed. She's our production coordinator. And uh, she's been an integral member of the team that produced many of our local productions, such as The Niagara Movement, Warrior Tradition, Kleinhans Gift to Buffalo, Let's Go, and Brave Spaces. Are you feeling brave? Yes. Amazing, amazing. Now you look like you can handle your business, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about you today. <laughs> I, have to, I was Chef, watching her. She, Chef she's Midas. pretty good. Is this what we call a safe space, though? I think we're in the safe space. Let's, oh, okay. let's see what's I next so. door. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> She says, <clears throat> she says she's a good cook. So she may be the home cook to watch in this group. I think so, I think so. So let's move on. Hmm. 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 Yeah, hmm, that's right. We'd like to introduce you to Nate Schneekloth. He's our motion graphics designer. And Nate creates many of the beautiful graphics you see all over WNED PBS, including the QR code graphic and the animated, get this, <clears throat> genre-themed on-image screens that appear on your favorite PBS programs. So uh, wow. you made the little uh, dancing spoon on yep. the uh, thing? I oh. did the dancing spoon. You did the I dancing did. spoon. Now, Nate, we've never met before today. Nope, that we true? have not ever met before today. That, oh, that's <laughs> a lie. We grew up together. We were 14 years old I met this guy, so oh, I know no. he can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nate. <laughs> well, as you just found out, uh, he's also a friend of uh, Chef Midas. But, you know, I'm not sure that's going to help you at all today, buddy. Mm -hmm. No, nope. it, might, it might actually hurt you. Yeah. We'll find out. Says, we'll find out. Says the man with the knife. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, last, but perhaps least in the culinary department, <laughs> Dallas <laughs> Taylor. Great guy. <laughs> digital editor and jack of all trades at WPFO and our local radio program, What's Next? Dallas, are you... Is anything going to catch on fire? That's all I want to know. Um, I don't know how to turn the stove on, so maybe not. All oh, right. Man. We're off to a great start. Dallas. Dallas is <laughs> I take one look at you, buddy. I know you can't cook. Look how skinny you are. <laughs> That's true. And then one look. There's no way you're cooking at home. We're going uh, to try to change that today. Dallas is a local actor, comedian. He's also a youth soccer coach in the city of Buffalo. Awesome. It's his third appearance on this show. Now we're cooking live, but it's his first time behind the stove. Ever. And now he really is a foodie. How do I know? Because he orders great takeout. <laughs> but yeah, can he cook? Foodie. And then do a Yelp review about it? Yeah. Uh, that's too much time. Oh, okay. Too much time. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> So welcome back, Chef Midas. We're so excited for you to work with all of our home cooks here today. So please tell us what you're going to be helping them cook. You know, honestly, we got the feedback from the last show and from yep. the last couple of shows that are these demonstrations are great. But hey, I want to do something at home that is easy and affordable and something that is really approachable. So I brought a couple of great dishes from the restaurant. One is our pecan crusted salmon. 
with a honey beurre blanc, and we're going to start there. And I'll tell you what, Dallas, I'm sticking around with you, buddy, because uh, <laughs> you need help. The rest of you guys, you can start doing your thing. This feels like when you're in class and you're taking an exam. Oh, that's enough peppermint. And the professor <laughs> comes by <laughs> and says, <laughs> make sure you're reading the question carefully. All right, I'm going to help you out because, you know, you don't want these too hot, all right? I like that you started right there, though. All right, so we're just going good, through the good. dredge. Okay. I want you to grab that salmon. Did you read the recipe, Dallas? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Right. Wait, 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 I, I thought like he was supposed to win. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right, Peter. Take that fork. Yes, and we're just doing the presentation side. We're not doing both sides. We're just doing one side of the fish. Oh. Is that Peter? Nate, do yeah, you like yeah. to cook? I love to Stir that up a little bit. Come on, man. Is that real? Yes. Yeah. I cook all the time. I think I mean, you got to whip that up. That that That'll back him up for that? Yeah. I was under the impression your mom still did all the cooking for you on well, a daily. Well, she is an excellent cook. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably the reason that I like to cook and love food so much. Awesome. Uh, so, yeah. And where are you at with this so far? Okay. I just got it's it in the pan the here. Okay. Uh, I wish so, I had a little bit more sizzle at first. Yeah, so you just want to, like okay. like Dallas is doing, you want to let that pan get a little bit of heat before you put that fish in it. That's okay, though. So you messed it up and Dallas is already No, we're in great shape. We're in great shape. So while you're looking for some color, yeah, and that's going to take a while because that's a cold pan. Red you know what I mean? I yeah. That's All right. But either gotcha. way, once we get that color, we're going to turn it. We're going to throw it in the oven. Look at you right? with the, the oven that's down here. <laughs> that sweet oven that's right there. <laughs> yep. We all have ovens. And then we'll start here. our sauce, okay? Okay, cool. Great. Ooh, here we go. Oh. Yeah, we beauty. did. We did yeah, the flour perfect. and the, then uh, the press egg. it right, really, uh, just on the presentation side right there. Here's another one. Off to the races, right? Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Do you want to start your butter sauce? Sure. So, same thing. Let's start with a little bit of olive oil in here. Okay. We're just going to do shallot white wine, mm -hmm. and I want you to cut that lemon and just get a nice healthy squeeze of lemon in there and then get it reducing on the flame. Okay. Uh -oh. Nate, you can start that as well if you'd like. What, what, what do you want me to do? The, uh, the butter sauce. Okay. So let's put some heat on that. A low, a low heat? Medium. Whoa. What if I forgot to dip I don't, my thing I don't in the egg? We'll find out. <laughs> Say it again. What if I forgot to dip my salmon in the egg? We shall oh, see. We no. shall see. <laughs> now, uh, this is one out of the three things. <laughs> <laughs> the question here is. How did you miss it? Is that too much oil? <laughs> it's it's a dangerous amount of oil. Okay. What can we do? What can we do? Uh, you want to drop and drop the fish away from you, not towards you, right? Lay so it lay it and let it go down Ooh, away slick. from you. Okay. That's a now, great safety tip. Yeah, exactly. How Another thing you can do is tilt the pan so that the oil will go down to one side and then flip it away from the oil so that you don't get any splash. The oil will pool in one side of the pan. All right, let's start your sauce as well. Let's get some heat on here. We're going to start with a shallot, white wine, and the... These are the shallots. Olive oil. Yeah, as much as you want, buddy. Really? Don't, don't use it, you know, don't use them all, but okay. as much as you want. Are you feeling abandoned over here? And how much of the I wine should I, I put in? I think I did it wrong. As much as oh. you <laughs> Wait a minute. don't want to drink. Order. Okay. No, I would do like well, half the glass. Okay, right? Okay. Yeah, that's I did. going good, but I think okay. I made a... Let's see, Dallas. Let's get a little, yeah. a little toast here first. You're doing it, buddy. All right, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> in the saucepan, add the white okay, here we go. wine, you got heat on that? and uh, juice. Some on there. Okay, so we're going to start Slowly with the shallot. Slowly juice. Oh. Wait a minute. Oops. You got a knife over here? <laughs> Chef. Beautiful, yes. We got, uh, we got some butter softening here, but is no, that no, too, no. I'll that's be too soon? Yeah, I think I did yeah. wrong. I we told you I didn't know how to make beurre blanc. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. So the butter's already soft. Oh, yeah, this is. Okay. Too soon? Too soon. So we're gonna start over. I'm sorry, excuse me. I want you to, you can use this oil, but we just okay. wanna take the wine, a little squeeze in the lemon, mm -hmm. and then just get that reducing a little okay. bit, okay? So half of that glass of wine, and let's just turn it on a high heat and get it reducing. Neat, flip, oh, flip this. Flip it? Yep. You said flip it? Okay. Yep, you got color there, buddy. I do have color there, you're right. Okay, and we want this on a higher heat to reduce it. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about. So you can you can kind of let the yep. oil pool and then churn it, right? Oh, okay, cool. Do you have any crust on this? Yeah, I just forgot to put the egg on. What happened over here? There's no crust on this. Yeah, did you pop? There's a there's a crust right thing right there. Look, it was right there. That's where the fish was. You're disappointing me. You got the white Dallas, on the other hand, See? totally impressed yeah. by Dallas. He's the champ. So he's yeah. bringing yeah. it up to so flip this fish, buddy. Yeah. Yep. And then you add I'm the cream. And then so you add the butter. Nobody gets hurt. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, it's perfect. Nate, come over here and look at this. I can't. I'm telling. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> 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 
All right, so we're just going to put it right in this pan. All right, and put it right in the oven. Now I got a question. Yes, chef. Okay. There. Uh, yes, chef. Uh, they're <laughs> they're uh, they're all taking the wine from a wine glass, which reminds me, I've heard that you should never cook with wine that, that you, you wouldn't, wouldn't drink. drink. Is that that's true? Yeah, but yep. it's true. But there are people out there that'll drink anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? So I don't know if it's a universal rule. <laughs> <laughs> Is this half? Oh wait, that's somebody else's half full on there. Yeah. There you go. All right, now you go right down in the in the oven with that salmon. Okay. We're uh, we're having a hard problem rooting here. So it's let's is it on as high one. as it goes? Yeah, just crank it as high yeah. as it goes. We'll do a little touch of the heavy cream you have in that little, just a little touch of the heavy cream in your in your reduction, guys, Can as I it's reducing. This here, no, this one. No, no, for the for the, the salmon here. to go I in the you. oven. Okay. I help you. Watch this out. is where I go. Remember we talked about this? Oh, right. <laughs> at, the, at the pre-production meeting? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what you're doing? Don't announce paying attention. The one that you were <laughs> class clowning? <laughs> Where's that piece of salmon everyone applauded? It in it's oven. in the oven. Oh. You put it in the oven. You want to see it's exciting, though. No, that's okay. That's okay. All right. All right, so you got a little bit of your heavy cream in here. That's great. See? Important to turn stuff off, too. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Especially when you got a lot of oil in there, right? Keep talking yeah. about oil. Like How are we doing? Good. Good. All right. Now, when this starts reduce. to dust, we'll just start adding the cold butter and whisking oh, okay. it in there a little bit at a time, okay? okay? So once this comes down a little bit. It's going oh, let's see your crust. Oh, you're you reducing. Want to flip or you want me to I'm do reducing it? now. I'm okay. okay. I love it. I love it. So do me a favor. Yeah. Tilt this pan a little bit so the oil is going to all okay. sink to that side, and then you can kind of flip it this way, okay? okay? So take the pan, tip it up. <laughs> yeah, well, either way. <laughs> Jeff well, yes. We have about three minutes. Okay, great. So uh, what well, do we need to we, do here? Uh, we need to finish one of these butter sauces, right? Uh, okay. Who's the and I think she's the coach. There you go. She's the mo Whoa. Yay! Nailed it. Okay, butter. All right, now we're going to start your butter sauce here. Just start forming it. Do you have a whisk over here? No, I don't. I brought you. I got you. I'll, I'll give you Nate's whisk. Thank you. See? He don't need Set it up to anyway. fail. Yeah. Nate's way behind. He's not ready. Nope. What do you mean no? <laughs> what do you mean no? What did little I do? Little time. Little at a time. Keep whisking. All I right. just like to make you. Oh, this is great. I think I, f I was right when I said you knew it was up. All right, so we're gonna just you keep whisking that. Well, you got the butter in there already. No, no butter. Good, healthy oh. pinch of salt, everybody. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Season your stuff. Everybody's got to season salt. everything. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Where's your whisk? Or did he steal it? They All right. It. I'm not going to need it. Oh. <laughs> and then we're going to we're gonna serve this over just a bed of greens. And this is really, uh, we're having fun, but it is a simple dish to prepare. You got a nice beurre blanc. Beurre blanc. Beurre blanc. So we're just going to do this over the greens okay. when it's ready. How's your butter sauce whisk, coming along here? Keep whisking. Don't whisk stop. Looks great. You can use that uh, little fish spat there. Now, when you say greens, that, that looks all spinach. Is that true? Yeah, I just call them greens. It's a little chefy thing. We're going to get a green. Green sounds a little bit, uh, yeah. Well, for know. people who don't like spinach, you just <laughs> don't tell them. <laughs> That's correct. Oh, those are greens. My daughter doesn't like spinach, right, Bridget? All right. Look at that. We have a finished, beautiful piece of Whoa. salmon. Oh, hey, you might have one, too. Do I? Yeah, you, you might have one in there as well. Dallas, how's it look? I know, I like Dude, how you turned perfect. it off. <laughs> no, this is perfect. See? You're killing it. So proud of you, Dallas. Look at that. I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt here. Okay, we got 30 seconds, Chef. What are we going to do All right, let's next? get it on the plate. There you go. I broke oh. It. <laughs> oh, man, you had me convinced, Dallas. He had it. it. He was had it. Right He's there. doing it. A little bit of the honey. Oh, honey. And the honey and the... And the Beurre Blanc. Oh my gosh, look at that. My favorite Show it off, Dallas. <laughs> you surprised everybody. Dallas, pick it up and show it. Yep. There you go, Chef. Yeah, wow. perfect. She's going to put it right on the pan. Can I, do you mind if I do the honors? Sure. Look at this one. Whoa. Who doesn't want to eat that? Am I right? <laughs> now let's go see Nate's. <laughs> Nate! That's perfect! Nate. <laughs>
If you're enjoying this program, don't forget to donate and let us know. We'd love to hear from you today because your support is crucial to this station and continuing this series in support of local chefs and our community's culinary treasures. So scan that QR code with your phone, call that number with your phone, or visit our website either on your laptop or your phone and get that quick and easy donation process started. Excellent cooking, Chef Midas. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Peter. And remember, if you're interested in trying out these dishes that you see here, you can go to WNED.org slash Now We're Cooking, and you'll find the complete recipes there. Now we're going to bring everyone's plates over to our esteemed panel of tasters to sample and enjoy the home cooks' dishes. Great. Great. Take Great job, Dallas. <laughs> Do you want to take this one? I will. I will. I will. I'll grab the other one. Nate? Need work. Need work to do. Okay, esteemed Hello, judges. Hello, everybody. Hello. I just want to say I didn't make these, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, tuck in. Family style. Yes. Pepper and oil. That's it. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. We have one perfect. Delicious. One delicious. Very good. One very good and outstanding. And an outstanding. All right. So, back to our next segment, I guess. Okay. Back over here. Thank so, you so much. Thank you to the tasters. That looks really good, and I think <laughs> I might be able to make that. Um, Chef Gall, we are making something I've never eaten nor cooked. <laughs> okay. What are we making? So, today we're going to make grilled octopus. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Now, where do you source an octopus? Where, where do, you do you source an octopus? Generally, octopus doesn't grow in America. Lake Ontario? Okay? Lake Ontario. No. So if you want to go get an octopus, you probably have to go to a, a supermarket that would sell a lot of seafood or go to your seafood counter, maybe at the market, and they would have octopus for you. Um, how do you pick one? How do you pick one? That's a good question. Generally, they're all sort of the same. I mean, okay. if they don't, you don't want them to be a bad color. They should be gray. I have one here, actually. Are I'll just put it in, in view, in the camera view. Um, so this is what it looks like when it's raw. <gasps> it's kind that's of... That's his head. Yeah, that's his head. <laughs> that's his head. Hello. Um, so this is the head, right? And in here, we have something called the beak, which is what, something you have to cut out. It's, it's, that's where it eats from. Okay. And then these are his legs. Oh, they're yeah. so beautiful. So I cut him in half, and I wanted to show you guys what he looks like raw. So I could show nice. you what it looks like when it's cooked. <laughs> so you spent some time cooking yeah. this so today. So I braised this for about an hour or so, okay. maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Once the membrane starts coming off on the inside, that's when you know it's ready to go. Um, is it, braising just? Braising is cooking on a low temperature in a flavored liquid. So you okay. can do this with meat, you can do this with seafood, you can do this with vegetables, anything, right? Braising is just a cooking technique that's at a low temperature in a liquid. Okay. Yeah. And how long did you do that? It was about an hour, hour, maybe 15. Okay. Yeah. We, so put, uh, we put just like aromatics like um, onion, garlic, and celery, carrot, a little bit of tomato, white wine. Uh, lemon. You have to have a bit of acid, so it kind of breaks down the the gelatinous part of the octopus. Okay. Now you said earlier the shrimp would get seafood would get tough if you cooked it too yeah. long, but you cooked it in a yeah. low temperature, so, so because it was okay. because it does have this like I said, I keep calling it gelatinous because it is really right. It has this texture that's that's pretty hard, right? And it has all this fat membrane on it outside. So in order to get it tender, you have to rub it with a bit of salt first. Okay. So massage it a little bit and then put it in the liquid for like I said about an hour. Some people braise it for longer. But generally, it cooks in about an hour, hour and a half on a low temperature. Okay. On I put it on the stove, too, so you can do it completely on the stove top. 
great. Okay, so once Sorry. it was cooked, that was no, a lot okay. of questions, okay. but I just once never it worked with cooked, octopus. Once it was cooked, I just marinated it in a little bit of olive oil and herbs and some paprika and garlic. So uh, this is just to get some extra, extra like you know, extra crust on it. So it's cooked already. It just maybe you want like to have a little bit more flavor, a little bit more char. You can grill it. Some people make octopus into a salad just like I did it before, and you chop it up, mix it with a little bit of cheese or beans. But if you want to have it as like a, a warm dish, you can grill it a little bit afterwards or sear it. And if you don't have a grill pan, like I said before, you can uh, you can sear it just in a pan. Just in a pan. Yeah. Sorry. And I'm going to get you to make this sauce. So this okay. is a sauce that I learned to make when I was um, when I was in Europe working. And it's a, a basic salsa verde, but I added a little bit of mint. This is mint? Yeah. As the, as the difference, right? So we have mint, parsley, parsley, capers, olives, green olives, and some garlic. So you can mix them all in the, okay. in the pot here, or in the, the bowl. The whole thing of yeah. each of these? Yeah. I love that you did this all ahead of time, so it's no work for me. <laughs> <laughs> you can do a bit of work, but you don't want to be like really working for your food, right? Yeah. Well, I tend to not, what is it, that's called mise en place, yeah. when you get it all ahead. Yeah. If I don't get it ready ahead of time, then yeah. that would cook too long. Yeah, and exactly. In and this takes, does take a long time, so if you're ever making it, like, it will take some time, so a lot the time that you need to make it. Yeah. So right here we have a romesco sauce that uh, I made earlier. Okay, so what is in that? So that's a uh, little bit of red peppers, garlic, paprika, onions, tomatoes, and it's all cooked down and blended until it's fine. A little bit of parsley at the end. Smells really good. Yeah, so that's going to be the base for our plate. Do I put all oh, of it wait, in oh, we're gonna no, put oh. the We're going to put it on the bottom. We're going to okay. start with that on the plate. So I'm going to take that from you. You do that. Yeah. I won't make it that's as gonna, pretty as okay. you will. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to go on the bottom, so that's going to be our base. This is like, this came from an idea of like Spanish cooking, but it also came from Italian. It's Mediterranean, but it also we're using Canadian ingredients like the radishes and the lentils. And usually we grow a lot of lentils in Manitoba, which oh. is not something that a lot of people know. So no, I didn't know that. That's the Canadian that's part. Great. That's the Canadian part of this dish. So we're yeah. going to add a lot of oil here. So it's basically okay. like covered, 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 wow. covered. Wow, yeah, that's lot, a lot of oil. A lot of oil, yeah, a lot of oil. But you need it because um, you just need all. You just need oil. Don't be ever afraid to like put. Well, and that's a, a healthy oil, oil right? Olive oil is healthy. Like, I mean, a lot of people say, oh, too much oil, this, too much butter, that, whatever. But uh, you got to live life. You have to live, right? <laughs> you have to eat good food, right? So how did you pick those lentils? Because so there's red lentils. and I use green lentils because they're not too fibrous and they don't have to get cooked. I didn't actually cook these. I just soaked them overnight and then I fried them today. Oh, OK. Yeah. So okay. the octopus is done. I'm just going to grab one more thing there. Yes. Thank you. So we're just going to put the octopus here. Oh my gosh, that's base. so pretty. <laughs> right? It does look beautiful because it kind of curls up. It and the becomes, color on it. Yeah, the color differences, everything, right? So, so while you're plating yeah. that, I am going to, uh, again, uh, remind people that um, you can support this station and this program by simply scanning the QR code you see, I believe, here. Um, or you can go to our website at wned.org, or you can call 1-800-727-1017. And when you do, we have a couple of great thank you gifts that we think you'll love. I already love my apron. Um, <laughs> that is $6 a month uh, sustaining membership or a, a $72 annual um, gift. Uh, we also have our bamboo cookbook stand for $10 a month or a $120 gift. And uh, we really appreciate everyone who has called so far today. We're just looking for your call now. This show wouldn't happen without your support. And we thank you so, so much. This is beautiful. So now these are radishes. This is a mixture of radishes. So these are regular red radishes, like uh, Easter, Easter egg radishes. And these are, water, they're called watermelon radishes. So they look a little bit bigger than a regular radish. It looks like a tiny turnip. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're a little bit sweeter and they have like this beautiful color once it's, once it's cut inside. So Great. it looks like a watermelon. That's why they call them watermelons. Beautiful. And yeah, I'm just gonna finish it with these uh, crunchy lentils. Oh, they are crunchy. Yeah, they fry I'm them a little bit one. and put a bit of salt. So you have some textures there with all the sauces. Oh, that's nice. The charred flavor. 
If you're enjoying this recipe, you can try this one out or any of the others by going to wned.org slash now we're cooking and you can find them there. Um, this looks incredible. Thank you so much. And we are going to bring this dish okay. now over for the tasters to try. I think they're going to be fighting more. over it. I'm going to put one more leg on them. So, so, so you've got have, there's four one people each. and four <laughs> legs. Nice. nice. I can't wait to see everybody <laughs> check that out. Okay. Everybody's got to take a leg. Everyone has to take a leg. <laughs> And the previous Now We're Cooking uh, shows, uh, it was us tasting oh, up okay. here. Um, and I tasted some fun things. I did not get to taste an octopus before, though. Maybe I'll give That's them a incredible. Spoon just to get the sauce. Yeah, perfect. And we're going to run over and help them get some of that yummy, yummy sauce. OK, that was a big bite. I love it. Like what do you think? That was really good. <laughs> yeah? Was it good and tender? Because it was cooked so long and slow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Wow. I think your husband's probably had octopus before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, how many of you have had octopus before? I've had it once. You've had it once okay. and Nick's had it, so we got to get the ladies to see what they think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on, on camera, I hope they told you you were eating octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> great. Smiles? Great, <laughs> wonderful. Now we're going to head back over to our next group of amateur chefs who will be cooking another new and exciting dish with Chef Midas. Thank you. And welcome back. Well, let me introduce you to our next three home cooks, starting with Angelie Preston. She's your local host for NPR's no recovery All that. Things Considered on WBFO. And she was also very instrumental in the team that created Buffalo <laughs> What's Next. So uh, what's next for you, a professional career behind the kitchen? After what I just saw, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, somehow you've managed to look like a chef and absolutely nothing like a chef at the same time. So. I thought I was a chef, but I'm... <laughs> <laughs> what do you call that thing? Is that a toque, a toque? Toque. toque. What? That's a look. And it's I a love your style. It's a That's look. True. I love, it love is your style. a look. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> Angelie also claims to be, a, and I'm quoting here, a pretty darn good mm. cook. Okay. I don't think so after today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> so it's going to be a matter of public uh, record. Should they have their frying pans on already? Yeah, or? we can turn them on, guys. Go ahead. Okay. Sounds good. Let's Little oil go in the pan. Our second <laughs> cook. <laughs> All right. Wrong eye. <laughs> Hello. Hi, hello, hello. Hi. Now this is Lynn Urban, and she is co-owner of Lulu Creations. <laughs> and <laughs> working in tandem with her husband, Jerry, she created many of the elements, the beautiful sets you see here today. This whole thing, this is Lulu Creations. Right here. It's Lynn, right yep. there. These, right the board, here. Yeah, also Lynn. <laughs> she also does some of the most amazing baked goods that uh, we've ever tasted here at the station. So uh, thanks, you, uh, thanks a lot for that. And uh, your husband is in the, uh, the other room now in video one, right? And he's putting my name right here. Is oh, he? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are just amazing. I would love to spend like uh, just a whole Sunday with you. Sounds okay. good. Yeah. So All right. You know how to bake. Yeah. But yes. what do you know about chicken? Um, I eat it a lot. Okay, we'll find <laughs> out. All right, all right. Sounds and um, once again, we've saved the weakest, I mean the, uh, the, the, <laughs> we've the boss saved, man. Well, yeah. All right. <clears throat> okay. This is Tom. He's the boss. He's the president and CEO of Buffalo Toronto Public Media. Thank you. Thank you. We're so glad to have him here because he brings decades of experience in the music and entertainment industry to our community. And during his two years at Buffalo Toronto Public Media, he spearheaded a variety of new projects. However, I don't think any of that's going to help him with no, this. No, Listen, absolutely not. I'm here just to be nice. Yep. You, you know, you're the boss, man. Yeah. Chef. You, you're handsome. <laughs> you look like you work out or something. Thanks really? for the I invitation. You will. I, I, go, I, go, I go to the gym all the time. But I it's would tell obvious. you that um, I'm very nervous about this. And I know that a lot of times chefs will use, like, wine to kind of settle them. Sure. Right? Drink, so, drink. So what I did was I just bought tequila. <laughs> So I'm just going to... Smart. Hey, 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 hey. 
<laughs> there you go. So I figured on, it'll, it'll, it'll cut the edge, you know, right? Yeah, there you go. Cut the edge. There you go. All right, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Let's what can us. I okay. say? He's got his game going. face on. Okay. All right, Heaven here we go. help us. We'll see right. what happens. Let's see. I want to see. Okay, uh, start cooking. Two okay, of here these we go. Eggs, just the so you're supposed to saute the egg, chicken thighs okay. oh. and place them skin so down in a hot right cast iron skillet. One yeah, so what I'm going to do first is uh, do a little bit of uh, seasoning right now. Okay. Okay. A little. You cannot make scrambled eggs without what we're making. Is that hot enough? It should be, right. yeah. I've so had now I want you to put a good heavy pinch more. of this right. cheese okay. and black pepper and just whisk that together for me, okay? Okay. okay. You got pasta in here already? Yeah. yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. That's okay, though. We'll work with it. My the, bad. Uh, <laughs> oh. Thank you, thank you. Yep, I'm going to try that. When was that supposed what to happened? <laughs> I threw out the yolk. I just did the same thing. I just did the same thing. So it's one whole egg and then the hey, yolks. That's all right. Just give it one yolk, oh, and then we'll load it up right. with some. Uh, okay. Just do all right. that. So I need right. something else to put yeah, this yeah. in here. You want? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I should have given you two. That's my fault. Oops. That's why we gotta hang out. That's right. Okay. One so, more yolk. So while the okay. secret I use here, guys, uh, is yolks. cook the chicken yeah, all yolks. the way on the skin uh, side. So don't ever take it off the skin. Yep. We're gonna do. That makes and the skin pepper. nice and crispy. We're going to cook this all the way. Ooh. Now, I love, I love Thank you, mate. I'm just going to give you a little bit of ham in the pan. Okay. No, I thought How's it was called something else. Guanciale. Or you can use pancetta, or you can use bacon if you're cooking at home. How are we doing here, boss? How we look? Well, uh, it, it's, food. <laughs> yeah. it's food. It's food. Someone's going to eat today. <laughs> Chef, I got yes. a question. Now, when I was growing up, yes. my mother had a, you know, an empty coffee can, metal okay. can, and she always put the bacon grease in the can. Yes, I love your mother. Okay. So, but she never refrigerated it or anything. It just the stayed there Thank next you. to the stove. Is that safe? Uh, yes. I'm going to say, yeah, that's safe. I mean, you're still here. <laughs> okay. Are we using all of this? Uh, you can do half of it. Let's do half of it, and then we're going to add the white wine. So you can do. Full of oil. Uh, uh, Angeli, oh, Angeli like it. says it's, it's sticking to yeah, the pan. Yeah, it's going to stick to so the pan. So typically, guys, if it starts to stick, just be patient. It, it'll start to cook. We can't be patient now because we're on live TV, but uh, it'll start to caramelize and release from the pan if you're just patient. So what we're going to do here is not be patient. Whoa. So we're going to move on. We we'll start with some guanciale. He is, this is oregano, garlic, and chili flake. Okay. That's going to okay. make this place really start to yeah, uh, come alive. The recipe says chili flake. What? I've never seen chili flake in the store. What does that oh, mean? Oh, it's like the same stuff they put on the pizzas. You know, like a oh, like just pepper. The, the, the red pepper. Yeah, like exactly. The pizza parlor. You got it. Okay, love it. Okay. Just a little bit. <laughs> Whoa! All right, you drink the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a Is spoon over there? Line? I do. I have a ladle. Sure. Oh, you can use the ladle. I guess. Oh, yeah. Well, you oh, can do it. Be it. Yeah. All right, now do we, what do we have here? You have your cheese. Yep. Black pepper. Yep. And the eggs, obviously. All right. Okay. With a little pinch of salt, okay. we're just going to mix this. Now the <laughs> right tool for the right job. <laughs> it's a big whisk for. So I think we were supposed to use this bowl. Oh wow. Hey, oh. we're we're live with the boss man. Right. So, can we talk a little bit about PBS? Yeah. And, and the strong community service. I mean, you guys are doing it. It's amazing. You know, it's, it's shows like this. It's like our virtual field trips we do with Let's Go. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, compact history, compact science. All the local productions that we do here is why we're here. You know, we like to say we love Ken Burns. We love Sesame Street. We love Nova. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But why we're here is because of this. It's because of the community that we serve and to make sure that local productions and local people, both in uh, Canada and the United States and Buffalo region, get a chance to be on television. I'm not sure. What other media outlet that you guys are running? Yeah. Two radio stations, yeah. TV, web. You know I mean, you're affecting the community everywhere. You affected me when I was young because PBS used to be the... Uh, Used to be the place. cooking, yeah. the cooking channel when I was a kid. Yeah. So there was great shows like Great Chefs, Great Chefs, yep. Julia Child came from PBS, yeah, Yang King Cook came from PBS. Like all these 
legends came from this station. So, yeah. and now it's time to put uh, the cooking in the hands of the of the. And people now we're here. You know, and now and, we're and trashing all of that today. <laughs> all of that great stuff is We've going out the window the today. The PBS brand is totally crumbling as we speak. Right now, <laughs> Glad to be a proud part <laughs> of, of it. Of course, of course, and it's all in video to, yeah. for posterity. But you know, the other thing too, which is really important, you know, you mentioned all the brands that we're doing. We're also trying to be everywhere where everybody is, is viewing. So whether it's on a YouTube channel, on Absolutely. your phone, on your tablet, or just the oh, traditional yeah. television while you're you know, on the couch, this is why we're here. And again, it's because of people like that and people like you and, and everyone that's joining us today, both in, uh, in Toronto and Buffalo, to get a chance to be part of the creative process here at Buffalo, yeah, Toronto. Yeah, it really is amazing. I think... Uh, I'm doing a great job, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> great job with this. I just mixed this up. You are. You are really killing it, buddy. And I, uh, I really feel that I just, <laughs> I'm just killing it, just killing Here it. Here we are. Look at that. Look what I did. Look what he did there. Look, Mom, I did it. Great, great job. Now, I know you had some chicken prepared earlier. Yeah, That's going to go right on there. And this is your garnish. Tim. Just get creative with that. Yeah, I did this okay. uh, yesterday. So, All yeah. right, here we, we go. Need a little we help have, here. What are we we're doing? taking it off. Yep, we're going to add some of the pasta water, which unfortunately you I weren't given it. much of that. No. We're just going to temper it into your eggs, guys. So this is what I did quickly with Tom, but we just don't want to cook the eggs. We just kind of want to... Get them hot. Warm them up a little. No and then it's going. Eggs, no eggs. scrambled. This. <laughs> <laughs> you got good noodles? They have no water. Oh, uh, that's better than what we got over there. <laughs> All right, we're going to give you a half. Off. Whoops. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, noodles. Noodles. Now, now just add your egg mix with a little bit of the pasta water. Keep it moving. Now, speaking of those PBS and shows. And it's going to make it nice and creamy. You can hit it with a little bit of A. Chef so Mina, Lydia hot. always yeah, adds that, some of her pasta water <laughs> to the sauce. I almost caught that. He almost did. <laughs> okay. Chef, what's the purpose of adding the pasta water? It's going to, it tempers the yolks and kind of makes it creamy. It's going to melt the cheese. Okay. And then it all comes it together. Good. It does look good. It smells great. Smells great, looks good. This one's scrambled. Yeah, it looked like scrambled eggs. Smell like scrambled eggs too. Like scrambled eggs. I use this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that looks delicious. Let's put it on the in the Ooh, bowl and good. top. <laughs> oh. Look what I did. Look what I did. I star! I He's a star. He's handsome. I didn't break it. Break it. Break it. Maybe I uh, get invited back. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, honestly. It really does look amazing, and, and you yeah, did a great job. Thank you for your help. I appreciate yeah, it. Thank, thank, you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now let's chicken over here. Now, she's a natural. She doesn't need any of my help. I just need the chicken. The chicken is in your hot box in the oven. <laughs> in your oven. Do you see it? Oh. Yes. It is. Lovely. Yours is it. You know what's really good? It's scrambled. Oh, don't look so sad. It's my fault. <laughs> it's, it's my fault. Oh. A thousand percent. So listen, let's put it on the plate, though, with some chicken, and okay. then you got to eat it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on, put it on me. <laughs> yeah, let me give it to the them. Give it. it to the audience. That would <laughs> be fine, too. Who wants scramble too. pasta? <laughs> Who wants a scramble? Oh, that looks great. That a looks little scram brulee. <laughs> We want everyone to know that over 50% of our unrestricted operating revenue that makes programs <laughs> like this possible, it's all your fault. <laughs> you made this happen. Yes. Seriously, yeah. though, your financial support mm -hmm. is so important to Buffalo Toronto Public Media. Thank you, everybody here who's a <laughs> member. We know you are. But Thank folks you. watching at home, I don't know if all of you Isn't are members. So please, donate now. Make that happen. Let PBS thrive into the future. And help us with more Now We're Cooking Live shows. How do you do it? Take your phone, put it on the camera, hold it up to the QR code, or call the number on your screen, or go to our website, wned.org, and make a donation there. Excellent cooking, everyone. Chef Midas, thank you yeah, so sure. much. Thanks. Chaos. Okay. Let's. I'm gonna walk this over. Do you mind? <laughs> okay, guys. Here we go. Thank you very much. Walking the food over. Okay, y'all. I noticed you don't have <laughs> knives, but uh, yeah, that was tuck a little, in as best that you was can. A little bit of a 
Fire drill. <laughs> so taste. At least taste the uh, scrambled eggs and noodles. <laughs> um, um, looking good. Looking good. And if anyone at home is interested in trying out any of the dishes that you've seen here today, you can go to WNED.org slash now we're cooking and you'll find all the recipes there. And we brought our plates over to our steam panel of tasters to sample and uh, what do we think? Good? Thumbs up? Excellent. Bueno. Okay. They're loving it. Quick reminder, this panel is made up of some of our Now We're Cooking Club members. They're members, but you're not yet. It's a nice way to connect with other cooking fans in the community. And you can also be supporting the stations that you love here on part of Buffalo Toronto Public Media and helping the programming in Western New York and Southern Ontario. So learn more about the official Now We're Cooking Club where? At WNED.org. Wow, Brian, what did you think of the show? What did I think? Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. Did you guys have fun in the audience? <laughs> you feel like you're going to go home and cook tonight? Well, let's go. Okay. And now we're going to say hi to Heather one more time, <laughs> and uh, she's going to wrap things up for us. Yes, we hope you had a wonderful time with us today. This studio smells amazing, the food has been fantastic, and the show has been so much fun. You have the ability to support Now We're Cooking Live right now. Scan this QR code on the screen, go online, or give us a call with your financial contribution to this program and your local PBS station. And when you do, you can grab yourself or someone else a gift uh, like this durable Now We're Cooking Live apron, which we know it's durable because our wonderful amateur chefs were wearing them. That is $6 a month or a $72 one-time gift. We also have this lovely bamboo um, wow. tablet stand for cooking, um, and that is $10 a month or $120 a year. That is nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, thank you to everyone involved in making this show happen today. Please put your hands together and help us give a special hey. thank you to our All chef right. coordinators. I never found out. Did you have fun? I had fun. Okay. I, I always have fun. <laughs> Now, I know you uh, you had a relationship with prawns before. Yes. How's your relationship with octopus now? Well, I didn't taste it. The tasters did. Oh. So they'd have to encourage me to check that out. But, okay. you know, I can find that recipe at wned.org slash now we're cooking. You can. I can find it there and make it for myself. There's also a red donate button there if you would <laughs> like to uh, donate. Yes, there is. <laughs> Thank you to the fantastic professional chefs, Chef Gall and Chef Midas. And to all our home cooks, Lynn Urban, Dallas Taylor, Nate Schneekloth, Angelia Preston, Sufana Wajed, and Tom Calderon. Believe it or not, you really did do amazing. <laughs> <laughs> We'd also like to thank the sponsors who make this show happen. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much to Artisan Kitchens and Baths. Thank you as well to Wegmans. Center and Ritter, heating and cooling. Yeah. Cabinet Reface Direct and... Buffalo Spree Magazine. Thank you to all of them. And thank you to everyone at home who donated today. Your voice matters. It's so important. Your donations allow PBS to air programs such as these cooking shows, but all the other wonderful shows for the rest of your family, you know, the kids at home. It, it's, it's just great. It helps build a stronger Western New York and Southern Ontario community. And it fosters creativity, not only on your TV screen, but also in everybody who watches it. We're all more creative and better people, I think, I for think watching so PBS. <laughs> yes, for sure. sure you is. can still call anytime or go online to WNED.org and make a donation in support of this program. Scan that QR code right now. 
Don't forget, if you want to try out any of the dishes you've seen here today, you can go to wned.org slash now we're cooking and you'll find them all there as well as the red donate button. Um, we hope you've had a great time with us today and we'll see you next time. Thank we you again. Definitely will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. Thank you, Chef Bob. Great job. 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 Great